two-year-old Colt Pacers. The gate is moving, and we will go to track announcer Kurt Becker. Interesting matchup in this two-year-old Colt Pace. Direct flight featured in this field who has dropped only one decision in his young career. Digger Almahurst from the rail, winner in 152-3 and three in the faster elimination. Two-year-old pacing Colton behind in the certified vacations breeders crown. They're off and pacing on the inside. Digger Almahurst first away. Far outside, there goes Scooter's boy. Rushing out second. Between those two, direct flight gets away third. Pacing for his sportsmaster. He drops in the fine cover. Away five on the outside, but now settling as Shannon recruit as that field sweeps into the upper turn. Racing next along the rail as they race past the quarter mile mark is Air Assault. At the back of the field as a dry eye quarter is Carl's Bad Cam. He's seven. Field being left past the quarter in 20. 7-2, best by a length and a half by two lengths by Scooter's Boy. Racing next, but tipping to the outside. Here comes Digger Almaher. He's in gear as they race toward the lower turn. He's the new leader. Scooter's Boy now second. On the outside, direct flight against the move. He's third, and right behind him fourth with cover comes Sportsmaster. They're at the half. Racing five along the rail, Shannon recruit. Pacing six, air assault. And seven, Carl's Mad Ham can see them all. Past the half in 55 and two. That quarter and 28, they're racing down the back stretch. The leader, Digger Elmerhurst, by a length and a half. On the outside, direct flight still there, but Mark second. Along the rail, third is Scooter's Boy. Four is Sportsmaster. They're approaching three quarters. Racing five along the rail, Air Assault. Pacing six, Shannon Recruit. Seven, Carl's Bad Cam at the back. They're at three quarters. The leader, Digger Elmerhurst, off that mark in 123 to fifth. That quarter and 28, they're going a good mile at all stride and the final turn is direct flight. He drops from the picture, and that leaves Digger Elmerhurst on top by three lengths, an astounding development as they turn for home. Digger Elmerhurst on top. On the outside, Sportsmaster trying but futilely. Racing third, far outside, air assault coming on. It's going to be a battle for second. It's all Digger Elmerhurst. Doug Brown home in. One, 52, one, fifth. Digger Elmerhurst turns back a solid field of two-year-old chasers in this reader's crowd. So the same connections as Town Pro as Digger Almerhurst wins the two-year-old Colt Pace, the fastest two-year-old on a 5 8 mile track this year, won an elimination and showed it was no fluke. He also won the Prix de Lemonaire earlier this year and now has eight victories. Owned by Robert Grand Holdings, they bought yearlings for the first time last year. This is their first crop racing, and they already have a Breeders' Crown champion. Well, Digger Almerhurst got a bit lucky there, Bruce. Direct flight was pretty much putting the pressure on from the outside when that cold made a break. Not quite sure why yet, whether it was a speed break or just the getting a bit tired on the outside. But indeed, uh, Digger Almerhurst, once direct flight went off stride, was pretty much all alone, bearing out in the scratch a bit, but uh, still in full charge here by about four or five lanes. And very tight for a second there between uh, number three, I believe, Sportsmaster, and uh, number seven, Air Assault. And it looks like Air Assault does indeed get the second spot, but uh, Digger Almerhurst will get his picture taken in the winner's circle. Right now, let's go downstairs to Brad Diamond. Well, look who I've got with me again, Stu for a lot. Stu, tell me about it. Well, we're finally made it. It's the first final for him, and uh, it's a new record for him. I'm just uh, so happy. This trip home is going to be really great. Another personal best, too. Yes, it was. Uh, he, he was just fantastic tonight. When direct flight broke, coming into, coming into the stretch here, sigh of relief? Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, I'd have to say. I mean, he was a favorite, and he, uh, he was given us a pretty good charge there, and... Uh, yeah, I, I would say it was a sigh of relief. I didn't like to see it that way, but it was a relief. <laughs> Stu Furlock, congratulations. Thank you very much. Okay, man. back to Bruce. So Nihilator becomes the first Breeders' Crown pacing winner to sire another winner, Digger Almahurst. Digger Almahurst, the race winner tonight in the two-year-old Colt Pace. Eighth win of the year in 13 starts. Bred by Prub Almahurst of Lexington, Kentucky. And there's a look at the winner's circle and a happy group with the owners, Robert Grand Holdings of the York, of North York, Ontario. Digger Almahurst returned 965, 80, and 420. Arizona second, 1640, and 780. And Sportsmaster finished third, $3.60. Let's go to John Pavlock. Right here with a very happy Doug Brown. 
Doug, they got down to the three quarters in 123 and two, and you were getting after him a little. Well, I just wanted to keep him rolling. He's best. The, the faster he goes, it seems the better he is. If you have to check him a little and start him up, then he's not quite as good. But if he, if he gets started up early and keeps on rolling, he's, he's usually real good. You two made a winning move, I would say, in front of the grandstand the first time. Was that just the time to get to the top? Well, I was worried about uh, the two horse coming maybe at the quarter and clearing to the front, and then I'd have to come first over. So I, I got moved at the quarter and then had to, I, we switched around on him, and he had to come first up, and it worked real well for us. Continue to worry about direct flight. He's going to be a good one. You're going to have a chance to hook up with him next year. Oh, that's for sure. He's a dandy call. I don't, I don't know why he runs tonight, but he, he's a really good call. This was easy tonight, Doug Brown. Next year, they're all going to be after you for three-year-old honors. Back to you, Bruce.